Good news everyone, Zanrath here, welcome back to more Hearthstone, another week of the Tavern Brawl, and this week, just a hallucination again. These aren't my beautiful cards, this is not my beautiful deck, your deck's overflowing with hallucinations. Go see how the other side plays as Demon Hunter, because, uh, still need to get him to level 60. <laughs> Alright, so hallucination, one mana, rogue spell, um, what was it? It was discover a card, right, from your opponent's, um, class. Um, so we'll see what's up. Once we find an opponent. <clears throat> Alright. So we will be going against... Oh, well, okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of uh, not the most exciting. <laughs> it's just Team 100 cards. <laughs> okay. Um, let's pass on that for now. Maybe I'll hold... I think I'll hold on to that just in case. We'll keep a hallucination as well. Okay, um, okay, so we have some early game removals and mid-game removal. Got the Rush, deal damage to all, got that, got the Peddler. I think I, eh, uh, fine, I'll, I think I'll take that. Oh, we can start with extra mana. Um, okay, we'll do another one of these. We got the Rush Boys, transform into a 6-6 copy of a demon in your deck. Do I have demons in my deck? Um, I think I'll take this one. I don't know, maybe I just should have taken it, because I don't know what happens if you don't have a demon. Do you just become a 6-6, six, six, like, flat? Like, nothing happens, it doesn't change. Um, maybe taking something for the later game would have been reasonable, but... Uh, I don't know. Is this a Demon Hunter uh, card back? It kind of looks like a Warglaive, almost, but the colors are weird. Sorry, I'm also checking my emails on my phone while I'm doing this. While I wait for my uh, opponent to to do their things. Alright, triple hallucination. Alright. Didn't pay attention. How many... So I had two cards that were non-hallucinations not hallucinations in my deck. Um, let's see. Um, I think I'll take a minion. I think I'm just going to punch face here. I kind of want to save these because they're rush, right? So, maybe it was worth, I don't know. Maybe it should have been, I should have played something to have a minion on board. But we have some forms of removal. So, if things get kind of cray. So, a death rattle minion from hand. That is possible. Um, question here now is what do we want to do? I guess we can do this. Let's see. This is one damage. Go here. Okay. That is some uh, crazy artwork. Um, huh. Could go with the Glaive Shark here. Could go with this guy. Could get some synergy going off. Summon two Fell Wings and upgrade. I, I kind of want to take this, but I kind of want to take that too. Do I take the three now? Um, or do I just rush in? You know what? I think I'm just going to do this. Like this. I bump. And that was Death Rattle in hand, I think, right? Um... Summon a Death Rattle minion that costs four or less from hand. Yeah, so does not have a Death Rattle or does not have a Death Rattle under four mana. What are those two options? Um, have a little bit more synergy with some rush action here. Like I said, interesting. Okay, I don't know if that. I would probably wouldn't have done that. Try to save some control action. Okay, okay. Um, I can clear that either way. Okay, kind of like that. That's interesting. Um, I think I might just take this though, because I, I don't know if I need the ignore or taunt bit. Maybe just having a flat 6-6 six, six is fine. Um... I think I'll go. Cause I have some AOE. 
Or do I want do I not do I care about the AoE bit of it? Or do I care more about the taunt? This is a little bit more mana efficient, I think. Gear cut out of there, so it does leave also leave me with a board, so. Not the most prominent or not the most impactful board, but something, so maybe it's worth, I don't know. Next turn is probably gonna be hallucinate into Kyria. Um Unless something happens and I want to use some of my other stuff, but all right, fair enough. Like not the most impactful. I mean, that was fine. There's you know two one ones. That's whatever. I don't much about that. That is um, did not charge. Interesting. Um. Hmm. My opponent missed three damage there. Do I? Eh. I think I might just clear it. I just want to play. You know what? No, let's just go ahead and play this out. Get the board. Because I'm not worried about, um, you know, there, that you know, friendly part, ignoring Taunt is, like, moot at this point. I'm gonna be able to clear him next turn almost regardless, unless drops Taunt or something, but I can also silence it um, if I want to, so <clears throat> I think I'm gonna, yeah, not that threatened by that. Drew a fell spell, okay. Um. Alright. Not sure what that was for. Interesting. Um. So, how do I want to do this? Could just bump damage. Didn't have a hallucinate, which is unfortunate. Um. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just bop. Bop. Go ahead and just sit for now. I think I'm still in a decent spot. We got a big boy potentially coming up. My opponent's got four cards. I did float a bunch of mana, unfortunately. I have some answers. Got some AoE. Somehow they go wide. That's kind of moot. I drew a card. So yeah, I got a little bit of small AoE here with some life steal. Got some uh, tech cards here. So I think I'm in an okay spot. I have board. My opponent's got six mana. Um, okay. I guess they're all slightly desperate. I don't know. They, they use some cards that were kind of like, that's kind of weird. But, I mean, I also have AoE cards that I have not played because none of us have gone wide. So, probably not the worst um, to just use some of those cards that are a little bit AoE, but not like get a lot of value out of it. So, after you play the left or right mouse, draw a card in your hand. That's probably going to be moot. I could keep the Glaive Shark as more AoE potential. Um, but again, like I said, there hasn't been a lot of going wide um, AoE-wise or to, to play into AoE. So still like the body. I think the 5-4, uh, I don't know. Would the 5-4 have been, was it a 5-4? I think it was a 5-4, right? Um, and the left-right stuff, like that could have been more useful than the Glaive Shark potentially. So yeah, I don't know. You cannot break the blood. Okay, that's a pretty good one. I think since I have this, I'll go ahead and just sacrifice this one. Um, let's see though. Rush silence is meh. Three damage. Alright, I'm just gonna do this. I think I give him more health overall, or, or less health overall. Um, I do take three, so maybe I maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have just done. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I should just trade into. I don't know. Whatever. This is also a little bit of burst from hand that only does minions. Got a little bit of life still, still or sustain still. Would like my punch to go a little bit wide to commit to that. Oof. All right. Well. Good that I did not trade, because otherwise that would have died. Oh, it's gonna go face actually, right? No. Ah, okay, okay. I 
see you. I see you. Um, go ahead and do this. Interesting. Could just go ahead and do that for board. I could do that. I could also take this. Have a big boy on the field for next turn. I think I'm just going to take that, actually, to be honest. Evil cannot hide from no. mercy. I think this is just better, because, like, if I pick the other, the, like, he's a big boy, right? But, like, I don't develop any, anything this turn. I could develop this, I guess, but, like, I think this is fine. I don't think I need a, a big boy. Okay, they're gonna hold on to that for a while now. Missed a hero power, though. Unless they need that extra mana. Um. Uh, well, not quite lethal. Bop. <laughs> that is still a fun, like, it probably doesn't happen a whole, whole, whole lot, but, like, that is still just always satisfying when that happens, when you get to, like, bop face and then hit him in the face. Got one more uh, four damage here power. They could, I mean, theoretically, they could burn, like, you know, demon from within. That's eight mana into or inner demon. Wow. Demon. That's Cray. That's Cray. You gotta will into existence. So, I think I'm gonna leave this in because, like, that is just bananas, right? Oh my gosh, dude. That is good. I definitely think I should have won. Um, I think I did play better overall. Um, but my opponent won, so, you know. That it, take it for what it is like that counts that's what matters at the end right so that's pretty bonkers though <laughs> um yeah i don't know what could i've done differently while we try to think about this um this match let's go ahead and keep all the hallucinations but i was a little bit um i mean certainly i had a lot of dead cards in hand uh, let's see at, 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 at a random demon that's pretty good i think um that's a little bit far in the future, or I guess not, because we start with three mana, so. Um, endless Dreadsteed. Okay, sure, let's do that. Be cheeky. Um, choose an enemy, it attacks random enemies until it dies. Rescue your lackeys, I don't think I have lackeys. I think we'll do that. Okay. So, I mean, I think I was a little bit, maybe a little bit loosey goosey with my, my health pool. I can admit that. Um,. Not egregious, though, I don't think. I don't think I was egregiously, like, just haphazard with my life pool. Um, I definitely could have used some of those other cards. I mean, yeah, like I said, I don't think I played horrendously. I, I, ultimately, hindsight, probably some of the choices I made in terms of the, the discovery cards or whatever um, could have been better, right? Um, destroy it and summon... Uh, let's see here. Battle cry your opponent discards a minion. Death row, turn it, replace your hand. I might go with this boy. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and just play this out. Go ahead and bump face. I don't know if I want to hit for two. And then maybe they can remove this and I just took two damage for no reason. Because I don't have a way to like you know deal with it if i don't have um you know a minion so it's like might as well not hit face or maybe i'm just scared of taking damage because of what happened last turn or last match um all right buff boy uh not quite buff boy okay interesting interesting I think I'll go ahead and drop this and just take out that boy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I mean, yes, in hindsight, I think some of the picks I made, picking some of the things that were a little bit more AOE-ish oriented, not the right choice. We never went wide, holding on to the, uh, the, the what is it, Chaos Nova, instead of having another hallucinate one hand would have been uh, a better option to not, you know, to mulligan that, but... I don't know. 
I, I still, you know, still is one of those things where it's like, gosh, well, you know, had one out, or my opponent had one out, they knew what they needed to win, and, you know, the better player wins, because when you know your options, and you get your options, like, that's, that's where the, um, uh, wait, what happened? We swapped some stuff for, uh, that got transformed. Um, ooh, the Cabal Tracker, that's kind of sad. Uh, but yeah, when you know your options, and you know your outs, and you play to your outs, like, that's, that's the, um, that's the son of a better player. <clears throat> so, what can I say? Uh, can only attack if your hero attack this turn. That's moot for my opponent. And then, so, give your minions attack, or right, after this minion attacks, give beasts. Okay, that's kind of moot too, probably. Um, this satyr thing is actually not terrible. So, I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and just bop here. Draw last, because we're cool like that. Um, that's not terrible. Choose a friendly minion, destroy it in a random... I think I'm going to take that. I think I can make do with that. Um, do I want a big boy? I can big boy and hallucinate next turn. Don't think I want that. I don't think I want the void color. So I think I'm going to do this. I could also do this onto something and then summon a bunch of these. I think it still counts as summon for the, the Dark Shadow Councilman. Okay, so we're gonna trade. We're not trade, but take out my dude. My dude ski. Tap here. Think about it. So we'll tappy tap. Goes for hallucinate. I wonder if they did not have a hallucinate then. I'm also not keeping track of cards, as you guys already know, but um, you know, that's what's up. Okay. So. Yeah, let's go big boy. So here, I'm hoping that we can drop this, maybe sack this, summon a thingy, um, yeah. And then, you know, buff boys, Each sorry, star. I had a big delay in oh, <laughs> my thought process there, or my saying my thought process there. Ooh, okay, can't attack, so that's, ooh, JK, can't attack. Um, alright, that's spicy. That is certainly a bit spicy now. Um, now this opponent's going a little bit, going wider. Um, okay, there's that. I need to get rid of that. Um, at the end of the turn, summon Tamsin's Dreadsteed. Let's go ahead and do this. Another one. Holy poggers. That is kind of funny. Is that too much, though? Deal for give your abyssal curse. Is that much? That much? I don't think so. Taunt, discard your little cost card. Nah, let's let's go for it. I'm gonna be a little cheeky here. Um, draw two minions if they're both demons. Reduce their cost. I don't think I have any. Swap this with a minion from your deck. I may or may not have one. Um, I think I might just take that. I think what I'm gonna do is drop our boy. <laughs> drop this. Bump. Um, let's go ahead and just punch face. I also forgot that they're gonna be able to clear this now, but whatever. It takes they take three damage. JK, I'll also take three damage. Um, so unless I can do something, I got face punch here. Okay, they've got some pod cards. What is this now? Q attack this turn after a friendly minion attacks. Refresh this. Oh, hot dog. They've already attacked. So, um, kind of moot. Okay, can I inner demon this guy now? I don't have enough damage. Um, draw three cards. If drawn this turn, draw. This costs three. Um, do I just aim for the lethal in two turns? Let's go ahead and play this out. Drop this, go there, try to click the button when I can. Punch, punch. I don't know if I'm getting a little bit desperate with this play. I don't know. Was, was there a better option? Like, I could have played something that kind of immediately impacted the board, right? Wasn't there something that was like a mid range ish minion? Um, and this is whenever a, a friendly minion attacks. So, got no friendly minions unless they can rush. This is probably not going to hit. Um, oh, this is a death route. Never mind. Okay. 
Got another one. Jeez. Does, do these come back on my turn? Is it just end of turn? <clears throat> or... Well, that's actually a lot of damage. Or a decent amount of damage. It's a non-trivial amount of damage. Okay, so they would come back on my turn. That is Pog. Um, okay, okay. Go with the Hallucinate. Your characters are immune when attacking. Copy the lowest demon in your hand, outcast, give both. That's not a demon. Um... You must just drop the boys. Drop everyone. Next turn, this is going to pop off. Split 10 damage. Could get a little cray. Could get a little cray. Can they OTK me here? Or not OTK, but just kill me this turn. 5 damage. 7 damage with this attack. Right. Uh, 5. Ooh, they're going to kill me. Oh, uh, no. Four damage. Easy. Easy. Easily find four damage. That's not four damage. That's going to die first, I think. This is going to go off. Oh. That's a bit spicy. Wow. Okay. Um, I like how I like shot once and it's like, hold on. All right, let's go again. Uh, well, that was closer than I think it should have been, but um, usually don't <laughs> leave in these losses. But uh, that first one, I think, was just very funny, TBH. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, yeah, I, I uh, that second match, I think, um, gosh, that was a little bit scary. I think, uh, well, it turned out that that was the right player. Because if I, if I if I picked the other minion, that was kind of like a mid range ish minion. I can't remember what it was. It was like something 5-4 ish range with like 5 mana, 6 mana cost or something but certainly well well, I would, I guess it did, it would have survived for a turn, I would have been able to push some damage that way but um, my opponent did show that they could have cleared the board uh, and obviously would have potentially prolonged the game a little bit um, so would have a, would I have won eventually with the little one ones that come back every uh, at the end of every turn? Eventually, still probably, but I was at four, right? Like if I put my opponent around, probably would have been around uh, I don't know two ish, four ish. I would have been at four that turn, cleared the board. I don't know if I picked that other main instead of the dormant one. Actually, it was dormant for two turns, right? No, it the the second turn was the turn I it like came onto my field, right? So. I think I only would have been able to attack with it once um, before it would have gotten cleared. So, I don't know. Maybe that was the right play uh, to pick that instead of the other minion for a more immediate board presence. But, I don't know. Either way, uh, that's it for this week's Tavern Brawl. So, until next time, thanks for watching.